Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for April 3rd, 2024, from 2 John. Discerning Participation, Safeguarding the Sanctity of Christian Worship. Previously, we heard John give a warning again about false teachings, those who were denying the incarnation and atonement of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ, I know these are big words, but they're important words for us to understand. The incarnation, that's God taking on human flesh and blood. The atonement, that's when God, who has already taken on human flesh and blood, dies on the cross. So yes, on Good Friday, God dies for the forgiveness of our sins. Both the incarnation and atonement are completely fulfilled by our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. While the devil is constantly trying to pull us away from this doctrine, this teaching of who Christ is. So let's continue with John's second letter from 2 John verses 10 and 11. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or give him any greeting. For whoever greets him takes part in in his wicked works. Now, expanding upon the wisdom that comes from the Apostle John with these words, it's crucial for us to recognize that the principles that he outlines in extending goes beyond greeting within Christian worship. Just as we exercise caution in welcoming individuals into our homes, during Christian gatherings, we also apply discernment in determining who is eligible to take of the Lord's Supper. This sacrament, instituted by Christ himself, embodies the profound truths of his incarnation and atonement. So if people don't believe the incarnation and atonement, they shouldn't be taking of the Lord's Supper. So when we approach the Lord's table, it's not merely a matter of participation, but a matter of genuine faith and understanding. Those who partake in the Eucharist, that is the Lord's Supper, should affirm their belief in the reality of Christ's presence in the bread and wine given and shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. So the church restricts access to the Lord's Supper, to those who hold the foundational truths of the Christian faith. We safeguard the sanctity of the sacrament and uphold the integrity of our communal worship. In essence, just as John advises caution in extending greetings to those who bring false teachings, we likewise exercise discernment in welcoming people to the Lord's table. Our aim is to ensure that these sacred rituals of the Christian worship are approached with reverence, faith, and a deep understanding of Christ's redemptive work, including his bodily presence with the bread and wine, all the time confessing Christ's incarnation and atonement. So John brings about this because when people gathered in their homes, they typically, that's how the early Christian church worshipped. And so John is teaching us that as Christians today, even though we worship in churches, we do need to practice some discernment about what people believe because there are many false teachers out there. God's peace and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening. 